Hey guys, um, so last time I did a video it was absolutely horrible, the lighting was horrible, the sound was horrible, there was buzzing in the background. So if you actually watched it, I, I really appreciate it. Um, and thank you for watching this one. Um, so yeah, my, la my last Green Lantern video, my last Green Lantern collection video, I had like two and a half long boxes and now I'm up to six full long boxes. So my collection has definitely grown in size, um, so I thought I'd show it again uh, to see, give you an updated video. Um, I'm going to do this in two parts because there are a lot of books to go through, and with a collection half this size it took me two and a half hours to do a video. So I'm going to go quickly and I'm going to split it up into two parts. This first part is going to be kind of like mini series and, and tie-ins and stuff like that and then the next video I'm gonna do is Green Lantern proper videos um, so yeah I'll try like I said I'll try and get through this as quickly as possible alright so um, to get through this I'm gonna explain really quickly how I organize my comics um, I organize them by alphabetical order first and then by um, uh, like little minis that came out during that series. So first up is Action Comics Weekly. So, all right, uh, when Green Lantern Volume 2 ended and became Green Lantern Core and finished its run after 20-something issues and got canceled, it became a backup in Action Comics Weekly. At that time, Action Comics was like the fourth or fifth Superman book, something like that. I don't even know. But they decided to take Action Comics away from Superman and make it more of an anthology book. So it had a bunch of stories from everybody, um, including Green Lantern. So there he is at the bottom. Um, this actually is the first issue of that run where it became an anthology series. Um, you can see all the different heroes on it that they kind of have stories about. And in the bottom it says, you know, all those different guys have their stories. This issue is the one where Cat Matui dies. John Stewart's wife, she gets killed by Star Sapphire, and then in all these issues, there's little Green Lantern backups in every single one. Um, I don't have them all. I think I'm missing like two or three of these, but yeah, some of these have pretty dope covers. But yeah, other than that, this run is really kind of not super important. That's a really dope Mike Mignola cover that I would love to have signed at some point. Um, but yeah, none of these are super important to the Green Lantern uh, mythos other than Jon Stewart's wife dying and eating up time between series. That's another cool Green Lantern cover. I really like this one. Um, but yeah, it starts with issue 601 and runs until like 640-something. 6.30 is what I have to, and then 6.42 has a story in it too, but I think it ends at 6.30 and then there's just the random one, but I'm missing a couple. Um, so Brave and the Bold is next, little Batman team-ups with Green Lantern, got a couple of those, still missing a couple more. Brightest Day and all the Brightest Day tie-ins, except for Green Lantern and Green Lantern Core and Emerald Warriors, uh, but this is like the main story and then the tie-ins in order, in like reading order. Ooh, got two of those. Um, I don't have them all. I've got like 80-something percent of it done. Larfly special ridiculousness. Um, but yeah, a lot of Generation Lost, a lot of uh, Green Arrow. just ridiculousness. I haven't read them all yet. I haven't read the whole story. I know the story. I just haven't read it completely yet. Um, anyway, same thing with Blackest Night. So the Blackest Night issues and then the Blackest Night tie-ins in reading order and I'm missing like... I want to say I'm missing like 13 or 14 of these little tie-ins before I'm done with the whole series. Um... But yeah, I got a bunch of those. 
Um, next up is Checkmate. Uh, for the first five issues of this Checkmate series, Alan Scott, Green Lantern, was the uh, leader of Checkmate. He was the White King. So I picked up the first five issues. They were like 25 cents an issue, so I was like, whatever. Just pick it up. Um, Dark Stars. Okay, so... <clears throat> The Guardians of the Universe, the guys who created the Green Lantern Corps, are from uh, are Maltusians, and that race split up into three different races or groups or whatever. You got the Guardians of the Galaxy who run the Green Lantern Corps, then you got the Xamarons who run uh, the Star Sapphires, and then the third group was called the Controllers who started the Dark Stars, and these guys started uh, right after Hal Jordan killed off the entire Green Lantern Corps and the Guardians and became Parallax. But, um, yeah, this is their first appearance in Dark Stars 1. Dark Stars 12 has a Jon Stewart appearance, and then by issue 20, Jon Stewart is the leader of the Dark Stars. So I have from 21 to the end. And, yeah. If you're reading Green Lantern currently, uh, there's a big battle going on with Dark Stars versus Green Lanterns. Um, Day of Judgment. Uh, this is when uh, this is the storyline that put Hal Jordan as the Spectre. Um, again, I'm missing like four or five issues from this and then I'll have the whole storyline in single issue form. Sorry if you can't really see these, but it's really hard to film with a tripod in long boxes. So, uh, DC Comics Presents. It's just like Brave and the Bold, except with Superman. I'm really pissed because I did find the... One of the DC Comics Presents is the first appearance of Cyborg. And I'm really pissed, and I'm kicking myself in the ass for it, but I found it for a dollar at a uh, local convention, and I didn't pick it up. And I'm kicking myself in the butt for it. Um, DC Special Presents. There was like six or seven issues of this. And I have just the one. But it's got its own tab. Because I plan on getting the rest of them. Final Night is the storyline where Hal Jordan, as Parallax, sacrificed himself to reignite the sun. Um, so I've got that storyline, including a bunch of the tie-ins. As usual, I am missing like three or four of these. But I pretty much got them. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit without making this too awkward. Alright. So, between issue 89 and 90 of volume 2, Green Lantern got cancelled. It was right at the end of the Denny O'Neill Neil Adams run. Um, got cancelled for like four years and became a backup in The Flash. So all these books have Green Lantern stories in them. And it ran from issue 217 to issue 243. So yeah, four years. Four years of The Flash. And you got Green Lantern stories in the back of all of them. Um, so I got a bunch of those. I think I'm missing three out of this collection, and then I'll have them all. Um, the Color of Fear. This was a recent... Uh, obviously, it says Rebirth at the top, so yeah, it was recent. Um, this was a little team-up between The Flash and Green Lantern that I picked up. Just a little two-issue uh, gimmick. Flash and Green Lantern, Brave and the Bold. Um, got all six of those. So... Interesting little storyline. Not, like, super important, but... I love that cover. Hippie freak! Anyway. Uh, Flashpoint, Abin Sor, got all three of those. And then Flashpoint, Green Lint, or Hal Jordan. And I've got all three of those as well. Moving on! Skip, 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 skip. Let's bring that up just a little bit. 
There we go. Alright, so, yeah. Um, skipping Green Lantern and all the Green Lantern core stuff, we're going to go from Flash to Guy Gardner. We're going to skip all the Green Lantern stuff and just do the side stuff for this video. So, yeah. Uh, volume 3, issue 25. Guy Gardner gets his ring taken away and he gets this little solo series. Um, actually, over here, this is what spins that out. It's uh, Guy Gardner Reborn. I don't know if you can see that, how well you can see that with the light coming in from the window. but So, yeah, Guy Gardner hooks up with Lobo, and they break into the crypt on Oa and steal the yellow power ring, Sinestro's yellow power ring. Right, so this th little three-issue miniseries, Guy Gardner Reborn, kicks off Guy Gardner ongoing series, and it's oh God. I said this in my last video, and I'll say it again. I absolutely hate Guy Gardner. I think he's like just the epitome of bullshit. Like I, these are all terrible. This whole series was just absolute garbage. There was nothing good about it. Um, actually, right around here, yeah. He loses, so he loses the yellow power ring and changes his name to Warrior, and then he gets this little power armor thing, and then a couple issues later he turns, he, he loses the power armor, and turns out he's got alien blood flowing through his veins, and he turns into this dude with these weird tattoos and markings all over him, and he can shapeshift. And it's just dumb. It's just absolutely dumb. Anyway. Uh, annuals 1 and 2. Got them. Cl uh, collateral damage. Issues 1 and 2. Got them. Ion. Uh, I've got the full run of that. Uh, I think it's 11 issues. Yeah. 12 issues. Got all 12 of those. Larflees. Got the full run of that. This was an absolute shitty story. I don't know if it's because of the writer, Keith Geffen, or because of the character, Larflees, but this is just a really, really dumb book. And it took me forever to get through it. Uh, Legends of the DC Universe is just kind of... It's an anthology series, just highlighting different heroes, so I picked up all the ones that have Green Lantern in them, like this is Abin Sor, Green Lantern and the Atom, Hal Jordan the Spectre, Green Lantern Kyle Rayner. I'm missing a couple, but I, for the most part I got them. Uh, Millennium, I've got the, almost the full run of that. Same thing with the other ones, I'm missing like four or five issues of this. But uh, for the most part I've got that run. Next box, uh, yeah, more the, the rest of the Millennium stuff. God, some of these bags are terrible. Yeah. Uh, so this little miscellaneous section right here, um, I I know I have a spot for DC Comics Presents, but since these aren't Green Lantern stories, I put them over here. Uh, this is the first appearance of Mongol. And the first appearance of uh, Superboy Prime, who end up becoming big Green Lantern villains. Um, yeah. First appearance of the Manhunters. Just a cool Green Lantern cover. Um, All American Comics rehashed with Alan Scott. 75 years of Green Lantern Batman variant. Cover swipe for Green Lantern 86. 75 Years of Green Lantern with Black Canary, Sinestro Corps War tie-in. This issue is the first mention of the Sinestro Corps. So, ooh, why am I out of focus? Come on. Yeah, Booster Gold number two. Um, Cosmic Odyssey. I think this is issue... I don't know what issue this is. Book two. Book two. Uh, this is the destruction of the planet Zanshi, which is like a big deal for John Stewart. He mentions it all the time. So, yeah. 
Um, and the, the villain Fatality, who in the New 52 became a star sapphire and a love interest of Jon Stewart, is from that planet. She's like the last living person, and she calls herself Fatality, and in the 90s she used to hunt down Green Lanterns. Um, Countdown Arena, number two of four. Just cool Green Lantern, three Green Lanterns from different universes fighting each other on the cover, so I was like, all right. Fuck it, I'll pick it up. Uh, foil cover for Batman Dawnbreaker. Um, can't really see that. I'll probably have to reshoot this. Uh, Dark Knight 3, The Master Race, Book 3. It's got a Green Lantern mini insert in there. Uh, it's stapled into it, so I didn't take it out. Um, Final Crisis, Rage of the Red Lanterns. Earth 2, this is the first appearance of Alan Scott in the New 52. This is Alan Scott becoming Green Lantern for the first time in the New 52. So I picked up those. Flash Annual number 2, first meeting of Hal Jordan and The Flash in the New 52. Another cover swipe, this was from the Neil Adams. Um, the Neil Adams variant cover that came out. So I got that. 75 Years of Green Lantern on Harley Quinn. My girlfriend's favorite character is Harley Quinn, and she collects Harley Quinn books. So my favorite character and her favorite character are on the same book, and it's signed. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. A little signature right there in the corner. Um, again, both of our favorite characters in the same book. Grabbed it. Uh, cover swipe for Green Lantern 87. So grab that. This is the first appearance of... Uh, Jessica Cruz, The Death of Alan Scott, JSA number 54, first appearance of Simon Baz, uh, Superman issue number 257, this was has a little story in the back about the destruction of Krypton and it's Guardian, Green Lantern like Guardian guy, uh, fuck, Tomar Ray, that's who it was, duh. Um, but yeah, it shows how he was uh, not responsible for, but yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, Superman, from DC Rebirth 29 and 30. Just a little Superman becomes a yellow lantern, Sinestro Four member. Um, again, just three lanterns on the cover, had to grab it. Uh, Super Villains, Secret Society Super Villains number 14. Back after 14 years, Power Ring. So, he had gone away for a while, but he was back. Um, Valor number five, this is the first appearance of a random Green Lantern member. Again, had to have it. Um, so, the Millennium storyline, this one, basically was the Green, the Guardians leaving their post, basically, and going off with the Xamarons to reproduce and make more babies. And since they were gone, they needed somebody else to become the Guardians of the Universe, so they tasked a bunch of people from Earth. I don't know why they would pick just Earth, but I guess comic book sales, right? So I got a bunch of those. Um, I don't have the full run. I think I'm missing, like, one or two. I know I'm missing issue two. Yeah. I know I'm missing issue number two. Because that one's got drugs in it and everybody loves it for some reason. Whatever. Um, new Guardians, New 52. This probably should go over there with the Green Lantern. It says, it says Green Lantern on the front. And this one does not. But I've got it over here as Green Lantern. Or New Guardians, volume two. Um, dumb story for the most part. Started off really good with, uh, let me see if I can find a good cover, with Kyle Rayner going off with like the heads like of all the different lantern cores. So, uh, Saint Walker and Fatality and Arkillo and yeah, he was going around and learning how to master all the different rings and that's a cool cover. And then he mastered all the rings and then became the White Lantern and then they did this really dumb storyline. And it was just horrible. I don't know what, like, it was really shitty. But then it got really good again, like right at the end. 
And then they try to force this relationship between Kyle Rayner and Carol Ferris, and that was just horrible. Yeah, Oblivion. They brought Oblivion back, so that was kind of cool. Uh, yeah, there's the lenticular cover. Uh, the annuals, one and two. Uh, so this guy, apparently, from this issue, had his own series called Threshold. I don't have any of that. I'm still hoping to pick it up all in one shot. So, uh, New 52 Omega Men. So, after New Guardians uh, ended, Kyle Rayner ended up with the new, with the, uh, the Omega Men. Find the one he's on the cover of. He's in all of these, but there he is. He doesn't hit the cover until issue six. Um, Ran Thanagar War. I got the six issues just because out of the six issues, Green Lantern's on four of the covers. I haven't read any of it yet. It's on my to-do list, to-read list, rather. Um, so we'll see if I get the rest of them or if I even keep this tab if it's a Green Lantern heavy story. We'll see. Uh, in the new 52, um, Supergirl got a red lantern ring, so I've got the story arc for her where she's got that, which I thought was pretty damn badass, to be honest. Alright, let's scoot in just a little bit more. Um, so yeah, and then red lanterns, red lanterns. Um, this was... I thought it was kind of cool. The first few issues not only gave us some dope covers like that and like that, but it was also like they were trying to they were trying to turn Atrocitus into more of an anti-hero, like show that he was like an actual good guy, but he was just kind of a dick. Um, and then the story got shitty for a second, and then they introduced Guy Gardner as the leader of the Red Lanterns, and this is when the story just started kicking so much ass. I really liked Guy Gardner as the leader of the Red Lanterns. I thought it was really cool. And then there was that power struggle between Guy Gardner and, and Atrocitus. And eh, I thought it was pretty damn cool. Um, Secret Origins. This is pretty much anything with a Secret Origin title that has Green Lantern in it. Um, definitely missing a couple of these. But... There's Nort on the bottom and Red Rocket, who first appeared in Green Lantern Core Volume 1, Issue Something. I don't remember. I have it. I just don't remember which issue. Um, but yeah, I've got the rest of those. Showcase 93. This is Green Lantern story in it. There's I'm missing a, a ton, obviously. Green, uh, Hal Jordan's first appearance was in Showcase, so I'm definitely missing more of those, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, Sinestro had his own ongoing for a while in, uh, the New 52, so I've got a bunch of those. I've got all of them, actually. Um, yeah. Sinestro Rising was a little Lobo storyline where Sinestro hired Lobo to collect all the Green Lantern Rings. Or, not all the Green Lantern Rings, but all the Lantern Rings. Uh, so I got those. Ooh, sorry. Um, Tales of the Green Lantern Corps, got all three of those. In this series, you'll find the first appearance of, let's see, first appearance of Necron, first appearance of, yeah, different Green Lanterns that are kind of mainstays now. And then Tales of the Green Lantern Corps Annual, where you get, like, the first appearance of the five inversions and all that kind of stuff. Um, Tales of the Sinestro Corps. Got all of those. This was big during the uh, Sinestro Corps War. And then Zero Hour. And I've got most of these tie-ins. This is when uh, Hal Jordan tried, as Parallax, tried to reset time and everything. So, got a bunch of those. Got, like... Just like the other ones, I'm missing like three or four of these ones. But, yeah. Alright, this video hasn't been going on like that long. Let's go back to volume two. Alright. So, straighten that camera out a little bit. Try to, at least. Anyway. 
Alright, so volume two. So we did the first box over there. And this is Green Lantern proper. So the collection has definitely grown. <laughs> uh, I'll show you like the first 50 and then I'm just going to skim through. Um, I basically have from issue 86, I believe it is. What is that? 80? Yeah, 86 to the end. I have. So 86 through 200 I've got, and then between 1 and 86 I've got maybe like, I don't know, what do you say that is? Like 30 books? Something like that? So, Green Lantern number 8. And top loader. Green Lantern number 9. Yeah, this is the first cover appearance of Sinestro, second appearance of Sinestro overall. Uh, I can't read any of these numbers. You'll have to forgive me. But, yeah, I got a ton of these, which I'm super proud of. I love these books. Uh, first appearance of Sonar. Um, second cover appearance, fifth appearance of Sinestro overall. I think that's issue nine, or 18. Uh, 21, first appearance of Dr. Polaris. 23, first appearance of the Tattooed Man. This... I wish I, I wish somebody had had the foresight to get this done. So, uh, what was his name? Jonathan, John Broom, I think? Yeah, John Broom. So the guy who created Green Lantern for uh, Showcase 22 is John Broom. This is the last book he wrote for Green Lantern. This is the last time he wrote Green Lantern. And, yeah. Wish I could have had that signed before he passed away in 99, but I did not. Because I didn't read Green Lantern at the time. Um, but yeah, issue 26. Um, 27. 28. 29. First appearance of Black Hand. Wow, that bag is garbage. Uh, issue number 30. Yeah, issue 30. First appearance of Cat Matui. Who died in Action Comics 601. So yeah. That's her first appearance. Um, yeah. That was 34. This is 37. First appearance of Evil Star. Issue 40. First time Hal Jordan and Alan Scott meet. It's the origins of the Guardians of the Universe. And I think it's the first appearance of Krona as well. Got it. First appearance of Goldface. And issue 50. Just random green item issue. Uh, issue 52. Try and get it without the glare, if I can. Barely got that. Uh, first appearance of Guy Gardner, and though this is his first appearance, he doesn't actually become a Green Lantern until much later. Um, this is kind of like, basically the whole story is Hal Jordan goes to Oa and he's talking to a Guardian. He's like, hey man, what would happen if you guys didn't choose me? And then, like, that's the first panel. And then the rest of the story is, okay, well, let's take a look at this computer that could tell us what would happen. And instead of picking Hal Jordan, it picks Guy Gardner. And that's the end of the story. And Guy Gardner isn't touched again for, like, another hundred issues or some shit. But yeah, it may be his first appearance, but it's not, like, the first time he puts on a ring. Because he really doesn't. Anyway. More Green Lanterns, more Green Lanterns. I don't actually have issue 76. I've just got the reprint of it, so I put it where 76 goes. Sue me, I don't care. Um, yeah. I've got a few of these uh, in reprint form. Um, this is 86, the second part of the Speedy Drug Line, or Speedy Drug Addict storyline. don't have the... 85, the first issue of it, but whatever. 87, first appearance of Jon Stewart. And 88, 89, and this is where the story ends, becomes a backup in The Flash, and then comes back in issue 90, four years later. But yeah, and then I've got the rest of these. Um, try and flip through them and point out anything that's significant. I know there's a couple that I definitely do want to mention. Alright, so here's one of them. Uh, Green Lantern issue 
107. This is the first appearance of the Tales of the Green Lantern Corps. It's the first time it becomes a backup in the stories. So, technically, that's the first appearance. Not the first appearance of the Corps, because you get to see the Corps, like, really early on. But that's the first time you get stories from them without a human Green Lantern in them. So, first appearance of Replicon. Doesn't matter. Nobody cares about him. Garbage villain. Definitely a throwaway. Where is it? There it is. Uh, issue 116. This one is the one where uh, Guy Gardner actually becomes a Green Lantern. Hal gets sucked into the power ring, into some void, whatever, and... Hal had told uh, Ollie about the, the the story about Guy Gardner, so when Hal Jordan gets sucked in, Ollie's like, fuck, let me go find that Green Lantern he was talking about, and he goes and grabs Guy Gardner. I can't remember why he didn't get Jon Stewart instead, um, but yeah. So, between issue 122 and 123... Green Arrow gets dropped from the series, and it's just Green Lantern. Yeah. And then from then on, it's it's just more... I wouldn't say garbage stories, because I actually kind of like these books. I don't know. But they're definitely, like, not in any way, shape, or form canon anymore. Nor do they... Did you ever really need to read these stories? They don't affect the DC landscape whatsoever so they're not super necessary to read sorry about that just trying to adjust um oh, first appearance of the Omega Men is somewhere over here it's 140 whatchamacallit come on 140 where are you I know I have you there it is 141 first appearance of the Omega Men you got that uh yeah um, first appearance of the Predator, and this issue, and the Predator later on becomes the entity for the Star Sapphires, somewhere over here, I'll find it, there it is, this is my birthday issue, came out November of 84, when I was born, and coincidentally happens to be when Jon Stewart takes over the title, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, Green Lantern Specials, 1 and 2, got them both. Volume 3. Um, right, so... Chronologically, it goes Volume 2 to Green Lantern Core Volume 1 to Brave and the Bold, or not Brave and the Bold, Action Comics, and then Tales of the, Tales of the Green Lantern Core, the little three issues that I showed you before. And then to here. I believe that's the order. I'm probably wrong. But some, some along those lines. But yeah, it bounces around for a while. Anyway. So yeah, Green Lantern, Volume 3. I am only missing issue 123 or 128, something like that. But otherwise, I have all the issues. Um, this is the issue where Guy Gardner and Hal Jordan fucking duke it out to see if Greenland or Guy Gardner still can wear the ring and then from this issue comes Guy Gardner Reborn and then from Reborn comes Guy Gardner's own series just so you know um, but yeah I got all these dumb stories silly stories and silly books uh, yeah first appearance of Kyle Rayner and then Parallax, and then Kyle Rayner takes over the book. Got all of these. I don't know if you can even see these. I'm not even looking at the camera. But yeah, got all those. Moving on. Ah, volume 3. Got all these. Yeah. Which, I'm going to find it real quick because I know I'm missing issue 120-something. Some of these were hard as hell to find. And then I found this random little small but mighty comic book shop. And I picked up 90% of what I needed. It was amazing. All in one shot. But yeah. So 122 to 124. Missing 123. 
That's the one issue I'm missing. And if I get that issue, I'll have Green Lantern proper from 86 to current. So, definitely need that one. Um, yeah, Green Lantern, Green Lantern, Green Lantern. This is messed up. Alright, so... The way I organize my books is if any one shot came out, it doesn't get a tab. It just goes in the back of the back of the line, right? This is the end of Green Lantern, Volume 3. These are all the one shots that came out that don't really tie into a Green Lantern story or whatever. So let's go through them real quick. Green Lantern 3D, Brightest Day, Blackest Night, DC First, Emerald Knights... Green Lantern Gallery, Ganthet's Tale, Iron Lantern, Stanley's Reimagined, Legend of the Green Flame, Our Worlds at War, Green Lantern Plus the Ray, Green Lantern Silver Age, Green Lantern Silver Surfer, Tangent Comics 1 and 2. I should have a tab for this, but it's Green Lantern and then Tales of the Green Lantern. So it's two different ones. But yeah, got them. Green Lantern Annuals from Volume 3. I've got all of them except for issue number 3. A um, couple cool stories in there, but for the most part, just like not even need to be read. 80-page um, Giants. There were three of them, and I've got them all. Circle of Fire, which was a really good storyline. Pretty sure this was... Brian K. Vaughn's, yeah, Brian K. Vaughn's storyline. So, there's issue one and two, right? And then there's all these tie-ins. And basically, you can read these tie-ins in whatever order you want. It doesn't matter, since they all take place at the same time. So, issue number one, read that first any of the tie-ins, read those next, and then issue number two, read that last. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like a little, like it starts here, splits off, and then comes back together type thing. Anyway, whatever. That was really terrible. Forget I did that. Uh, Denny O'Neill, Neil Adams reprints. I've got one of them. I think there's like six or seven. Still hunting the rest of them down. Uh, Dragon Lord, issues one, two, and three. Got them all. Emerald Dawn, Volume 1, that's what it was. It went from uh, uh, Green Lantern, Green Lantern Core, Action Comics, Emerald Dawn, then Volume 3. That's what it was. Emerald Dawn 2. Got that. Do I have two issues of the first one? I do not. Uh, Green Lantern Flash, F Faster Friends. That's a tongue twister. There is a combined 100-page spectacular of these two, but I don't have it. Um, Green Lantern and Sentinel, Heart of Darkness. I don't. I'm missing is missing issue number two. I will find it soon. Uh, Green Lantern Mosaic. I got the full run of that. Really trippy little series. Loved, loved, loved John Stewart in this series. He was a badass. Um, New Core. Two issue series or two issue little mini got that, and then Rebirth, which kicked off uh, Jeff Johns's run on Green Lantern, and I got all that. So again, Volume Three starts over here. Once Volume Three ends, all these are the different mini series that came out during the years that Volume Three was being printed. So I got them all uh, right behind Volume Three. And then Volume 4, the Jeff Johns run. Uh, got all these. This is actually the first Green Lantern book I ever bought in my life. Green Lantern number 5. But yeah, got all those. This is the magazine sized. Oh, Jesus, can't even fit that in the picture. Green Lantern, super spectacular. There's two more I need to get. And then I'll have them all. Alright, next box try this at an angle so we don't get so much A, glare, and B, light from the back. Um, but yeah, continuing on, got all of these. Not a whole lot of uh, uh, one-shots, but 
So yeah, the series ends at 67, right? Yeah. And then retroactive Green Lantern from the 80s. There's still the 90s and the 70s for me to get, but yeah. And then Will World. This is the trippiest story. All right, if, imagine if Green Lantern was in the world of Saga and you'll be close to what this looks like. It's trippy. Like there's actual, like you remember Prince Robot from from Saga, the dude with the TV face? Yeah, he's in that. Like it's clear as day, you cannot mistake it. Like they got, Saga was heavily influenced by this in my opinion. It, it there's no other way around it. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Aftermath, War of the Green Lantern's Aftermath. Um, Emerald Warriors, which was a dope little series. I enjoyed it right up until the end. Actually, right up until around here. Issue 12, 11, 12, and 13 are just kind of throwaway issues. Did you even see any of those? Was I holding them high enough? That's such a cool cover. Anyway. Movie prequels, or movie tie-in things. Uh... Got them all. Volume 5. Super proud of this, so I'm going to show it off real quick. Right. So. Issue number one. Right. Issue number one. Teardrop variant. Issue number one. Greg Capullo sketch cover. Van Scriver sketch cover. And second printing. Got them all took me forever to find that teardrop variant for a decent price. People are trying to sell it for $100 or more. Nope. Not buying it. Um, got the full run of this. This is actually when I started reading Green Lantern. Um, don't remember which issue specifically, but... <sighs> End of the Jeff Johns run. Um, yeah. I didn't pick up the early variants, but I ended up picking up a lot towards the end. Um, I've got the lenticular cover and the regular cover. That's why I got two of each of these. Except for Sinestro, I just have the lenticular cover. I don't have the regular, or uh, the 2D version. Um, just blitzing through these. This is, I have four, I have three or four issues of this comic because it's a flip book and because it's Green Lantern on one side, Red Lantern on the other side, plus it's part of the uh, Red Daughter of Krypton storyline, so I have one for each <laughs> each tab. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Um, yeah, this is where I started getting variants. Because the, the shop I was going to at the time always sold out of the, the original covers, and all they had left were variants by the time I got there, because I had to work during the day. So I just, I got stuck with these. Some of these are horrible, but some of them are pretty cool. But yeah, Bombshell variant, uh, 75 Years of Batman variant, stupid selfie variant like this I got stuck with. This was the, f this is when I started reading Green Lantern proper. Like this is, from here on is how the collection got built. So basically December of 2014 to now is this entire collection. Um, Lego variant, stupid. This was a cool, uh, who was it? Yeah, cover swap for Demon number 13, which I thought was kind of cool. I like this version of Star Sapphire. The whole, I, like, love Jim Lee's artwork, but that whole boobies out and just skin everywhere, not about it. I like this one better. This one looks cool. Um, 75 Years of Flash, cover swap. Yeah, 75 Years of Joker. Yeah. 75 Years of Green Lantern with Hal and Alan on the cover. Dig it. Harley Quinn variant. Got two copies of that. I got the pencil sketch and then the colored. I still want to get the uh, uh, inked version just like the inks, and then one still in the bag, so I still want to get two copies of that. Um, cover swap, the Neil Adams variant. Uh, Batman vs. Superman variant. 
John Romita Jr. variant, and then the Billy Tan uh, variant for issue number two, which is the same as the cover for issue number one. What? Did I put those out of order? I did. But yeah. So. Uh, features end, lenticular cover, and then the Godhead one shot. Got all three annuals. Or four annuals, rather. Convergence one and two. Lost Army. I think this is the one that had the really dope. Uh, for the first three issues, it was like a connecting covers which I definitely want to find but I kind of like the Lost Lantern story or Lost Armors, Army story one bad at least in my opinion um, Rebirth I was collecting the I was getting the uh, variants for like the first 16 issues I think it was something like that because some of them were just cool but I cut that out real quick well obviously not but I stopped getting the variants just because it just it was just too damn pricey. The comic book shop I go to, which has like the one of the better selections in the area, like overcharges so much for the variants. Like cover price for the regular one, but for any variant they upcharge like way too much. <sighs> yeah, I've got all these, and then yeah, I've I've got all of them and currently we're on issue 45 that's that's where we're at right now and today is Wednesday so I think uh, it's either Green Lanterns or Hal and the Green Lantern Corps are coming out today I can't remember which but I got a book coming out today that I got to go get and then I got the Rebirth number one got both covers of that uh, animated series I'm missing like half of it but it's one of those things that I look for at cons or random, barely even look for it, just have it. Um, after Volume 2 ended, Green Lantern Core Volume 1, so that's where it kicks off. Why is the last book in front? That is dumb. I don't know why that happened. First appearance of Kilowog and a couple other people are in there. Um, yeah, I got all these somewhere in here. I can't remember which issue is when uh, we'll find it though. There it is. This is when John Stewart marries Cobb Matui, the chick that died in Action Comics 601. Green Lantern Corps Quarterly got all of these and I got doubles of a couple of them. But I got them all. I see some people give it shit because it was in the 90s and it looks stupid, but I really liked Alan Scott as Sentinel. I thought that was kind of cool. Ooh. There. That's better. Uh, Green Lantern Core Volume 2. This was the Blackest Night, Brightest Day storyline. Um... Just recently got the last one of these that I needed and finished this run, so now I have all Green Lantern Core books. Yeah. Back it up just a bit. So yeah, now any book that's titled Green Lantern Core, I've got it. Maybe don't have the variant, but I at least have the book. Um, this went on for like 63 issues, I think. Yeah, 63. So equivalent to how Rebirth kicked off the Jeff Johns one, the Jeff Johns run, Recharge kicked off volume two of the Green Lantern Corps, and I've got all these. And then Green Lantern Corps volume three, the New 52 run, got all of those, which wasn't terrible. I've uh, definitely read better. All right, so that's Fatality. She becomes a star sapphire She's from planet Zanshi. First appeared with Kyle Rayner in Green Lantern Volume 3. Stupid selfie cover. 
<sighs> Green Lantern Corps Annuals 1 and 2. Twist that so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, Green Lantern Edge of Oblivion. You got the full run of this. I think it's out of six issues. Yeah, six issues. Started off pretty cool, and then they introduced these guys. The spider people thing. Not the spider guild, I don't think. It's been so long since I read it. It's dumb, though. Um, so, yeah, and then this is volume four, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps. And, again, I was picking up the variants for, like, the first 18 issues, something like that. Um... Yeah, some of the some of these covers were pretty damn cool, but I just monetarily I just could not keep up with it anymore. And now they got uh, Hafa Sandoval doing the artwork, who is one of my favorite artists. Period. The dude is so goddamn. Like, look at those covers, man. He's so goddamn good. I can't remember which issue it was, but one of them, Guy Gardner and Arkillo, duke it out without rings, and then end up becoming besties, and it's hilarious. Ooh, Zod's Will, it's a really good storyline. Thank you, Mr. Venditti, for giving us this. It's pretty awesome. That's a dope cover. Thank you, Mr. Sandoval, for that. Uh, but yeah, and I'm current on this. See, Dark Star's coming back. But I'm current on that. That's the latest issue, issue number 42. And then the two Green Lantern Rebirths. And then we're back at Guy Garner, but we've already been through that. So yeah, that's that's the quickest rundown I can give of my Green Lantern collection. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. I'm so glad I was able to get through this in a relatively short amount of time. But uh, yeah, if you've got any questions... Post them down below. Uh, thank you for watching. Appreciate it, man. Lady. Person. Whatever. Uh, and have a good day. Thumbs up.